Start with a good DIY that will give your furniture the perfect worn-in look, kind of like a favorite pair of jeans, but for your house. Katie Lang owns Silk and Sage Design Studio. She's here with some staining 101. Nice yeah. to have you back. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. So tell us about Silk and Sage first of all. For sure. So we specialize in eco-friendly finishes for the home, outdoors, mm -hmm. you know, paint lines and stain lines as well. Yeah. Yeah. Case in point, this stain does not have an odor at all. Like it's very subtle, if anything. Yeah, maybe a little vinegary, a little cider. Yeah. but nothing too bad. And that's the plus of a lot of the products or all of the products that you sell is that they're going to be mm -hmm. pretty safe for us, right? Exactly. Safe in the home, safe around pets, kids, you know, all non-toxic yeah. completely. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking about weathered wood and what does that mean and what kind of stain is this compared to other kinds that we might be used to? Definitely. So this stain, first of all, it's water-based, you know, completely non-toxic, as I mentioned. So when it goes on, there's no odor, and it saturates the wood and reacts with it completely, okay. um, you know, uh, other than actually coloring with a pigment, if that makes sense. Yeah. So will it be different depending on the kinds of wood that we're using? Yes. Every species and every piece of wood, too, is going to look totally different. Okay. So really, you can work over raw wood just as much as reclaimed wood, mm -hmm. but as long as your project is stripped or sanded like you would any other staining project. Okay. So a raw furniture or a piece that we want to redo, we'll just strip and sand it down. Exactly. Okay. So let's see what happens, I guess. Sure. Right? And so you're working with a stain called pining over poplar and rolling it on, you want to go with a foam roller. That's going to be one of the easiest ways to go. To do it. Okay. Yeah. And you'll want to get a lot on there and kind of saturate it pretty evenly mm -hmm. and then you don't even wipe it back off. So you'll let it do its thing. Okay. And so at the same time, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to brush on with a foam brush as well. Okay. So just depending on what you're, you're working on, you want to just, again, make it pool, make it saturate, and you can kind of see it change right before your eyes. Why did you choose the brush instead of the roller? I think sometimes different sizes of projects okay. work really well. Honestly, they do similar things, mm -hmm. but maybe a roller might be easier to get into certain places, depending okay. on the furniture. Um, or a brush might be easier. Okay. What do you yeah. think about my coverage here? I think your coverage is actually perfect. Okay. So we'll yeah, you'll kind of pause that there, and I'm just kind of trying to get some of this excess pooling spread out. Okay. And then let it do its thing. Okay. And, and if we wanted to add the next step, what would that be? So the next step, once this dries, you can add a second coat if you desire. Okay. But when it's done completely, and you know, our examples here okay. are going to be totally grayed out. This will change over a few hours. Mm -hmm. When you're done, you're going to go ahead and seal it. So okay. depending on your project, indoors varnishes are actually really great. Okay. And so they do, this line makes a dead flat varnish. So it looks totally reclaimed. Mm -hmm. It's not shiny at all. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so it'll go on kind of milky okay. when you apply it. But again, same kind of premise here. We want to go ahead and kind of Spread it really, really nicely. I love this because you don't have to get it perfect. It's just about coverage and, exactly. and getting it all on. You don't have to be too meticulous. Right? Exactly. It's so user friendly. Mm -hmm. Anyone can just jump right in. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So then once this dries, do we have to wipe it down or anything? Or it's good no, to go? No, it is good to go over a few hours. Again, it's totally going to dry, matte out, no shine. Mm -hmm. If you do want shine, though, there is a satin or a semi gloss. So more traditional. Okay. If you like to wax it, you can do that. So okay. it is top coat compatible. And we can come in and even bring you pictures of our pieces that we might want to do. You can help us. With Absolutely. That, right? Yeah. So, especially if you are unsure about what kind of wood you have, you can always bring us samples to the yeah. shop and we'll test it out for you. And we do have a class coming up on the 27th, so you learn all the basics about all the five different stains in this line. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's a good time to pick your brain and get all the information we need. Awesome. Absolutely. This is very cool. I love this look, though. It's really great. Thanks yeah. for being here. Truly Please. unique. Appreciate Thanks. it. And Silk and Sage is on West Anderson Lane. Go to silkandsagedesign.com for more information or call 512. 7663486